Hello, welcome to Brain Sushi Life Learning. In this episode, I want to share with you this abstract looking uh, snakes. I call it snakes. Uh, it's not looking like worms. Um, and this is a kind of like a refresher. Uh, I've done this a couple of times in the past. So basically, uh, I actually still uh, use spare chop for this. Just uh, to explain to you, uh, this object is actually just a curve. Okay. So without uh, geometry nodes, without solidify and subdiv, it's just a simple, like really long lines. And this line is passing through the noise. If in sphere chop lines actually grow in the X axis. And so I need to animate the X axis. If I want to, I use the frame info, plug into this uh, vector in. and very similar to geometry nodes now um, i simply turn on geometry nodes and everything else like solidify and subdiv and we have this snake okay so i like to just turn it into snake um as for now okay let's study this uh, line it goes into vector noise and then just simply multiply it by a number you can do the exact same thing using geometry nodes uh, vector noise actually very very similar to this so let's take a look at geometry nodes very quickly this one is looking like this okay so what's going on exactly uh, curve curve objects comes in and I resample it using length so we can have less or more and then I simply uh, use instance on points let's see this one is using a cylinder okay cylinder being instance and I'm also um, adjusting the rotation and the scaling and the rest of them is there's nothing much uh, this is a cylinder that's being aligned along the path of curve okay so this, uh, the newest thing in the latest Blender 3.0 geometry nodes is this curve tangent. Don't get this mix up with the other one. Uh, what is that? Tilt. So there's a curve tilt and curve tangent. Curve tilt is more like a, like a twist um, angle along the path. Curve tangent is like how objects can be aligned along path. Um, yeah, currently I'm using cylinder. Um, if I get rid of solidify or subdiv, we have just a cylinder along the path. And this cylinder can have a closing, closure. Now let me change the material. Just a basic cylinder, right? You can re uh, remove everything else. So it's like a kind of like a box, like a low poly snakes or something yeah so I think this is the basic of the, uh, the basic idea you can randomize the rotation and the scaling but basically align Eula align Eula to vector or Euler Euler anyway Euler and I have this combination of scale that I randomize so I have this thing that's controlling the X and Y I, I know because the Z the Z axis also being randomized but without without all this scaling it's just like a simple instance along the path which is pretty cool already and very 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 useful um, so cylinder you can use something like cone and you have this Kind of like arrow along path yep so that's uh, it's gonna be super handy uh, you just play around with this for now we're gonna be using cylinder and yeah oh yeah I have all this uh, that's dealing with endpoint selection this is actually something that I just figure out also if you want to have the if you use endpoint selections 
let me show you what's going on plug this in look the start will actually control from the start of the snake while the end will actually control uh, the points from the end of the points which is pretty strange so you, you will end up with two snakes that's kind of trying to catch each other along the same path so the start look at this the start and the end so the start of the snake and the end of the snake that's a this endpoint selection is actually generating a number between it's a generating like a like a boolean number if you plug this into selection point selection it will um connect into instance on points but yeah don't worry about that i just want to show it to you because it's pretty cool and this let's go back to cylinder and yeah we get this abstract looking result right so this is another curve okay if i go to edit mode this is just a simple curve i created this just simply by drawing let me delete everything so I'll, I'll let me try doing it this again don't use this this is annotation this is grease pencil this one draw so this is a curve object and i'm gonna be drawing my signature snail logo okay boom we end up with this um, again we can resample control the length and the detail along the path and <clears throat> what else i forgot to say this is because this is a curve you can uh you can clean up decimate the curve oh okay maybe we need to convert it to bezier beforehand And then curve, clean up, decimate. But anyway, the Blender geometry nodes will actually take care of this anyway. And it's gonna turn it into resemble curve. You can use count. This will give you the exact number of points along the curve. If you, okay, this is a weird one. For the instance, I'm using this eyeball. This is actually for the next video. This is the eyeball maker. So I'm turning this into some kind of weird eyeballs. So I simply like a uh, instance eyeballs along the path of the curve. Like for this guy, if I want these snakes to have the eyeballs, I can simply do that. Replace the cylinder with the group eyeball maker. Okay. Just for fun. So now you have, you have, you have these eyeballs along path. Let's use length. Reduce the number. So we have... Oops. Okay. At some point, the eyeballs will... It's like too many eyeballs. Let's see. Let me control the the length of the eyeball. So it should be like rounded, right? <clears throat> and then, yeah, that's the one I want. So this is snake eyeballs. As for the eyeballs itself, I might talk about it in the next video. Not now. Okay, so it's snake, eyeball snakes. Well, anyway, for the eyeballs, I'll talk about it in the next video. And we got some interesting things happening there. In the latest, latest geometry nodes, you can actually go. So this eyeball is made of geometry nodes. Okay, and then these nodes can have variations and seed that you can also randomize. So you can have nodes inside nodes inside nodes. 
um, nodes network you know, that's combined together into one really complex uh, design all under modifier all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye